Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is the TT12 convertible backpack from Maxpedition. So I recently looked at the TT22, which is really a full-size backpack that have an even larger size than the 22. I think it's the 26. Uh, but this is the very compact version. As you can see, this thing is really small. Uh, great thing about it is that it's good for everyday carry and it's also convertible so you can carry it in a variety of different ways. So I'm going to show you what I actually have inside the bag. We'll talk through the details and then I'll show you the different ways you can actually carry this bag. So first off, your colors. You can see this is like, I would call like a midnight blue or a, it's blue. It's got a, just a tiny hint of like maybe a little bit of green. Uh, then you have your straight up green, you have a gray, and then you also have a black as well. So you got the double buckle here in front. All the materials are excellent, uh, YKK zippers, uh, Duraflex buckles, I mean top notch for everything. All your webbing is this um, webbing that's similar to um, a seat belt for a car. So it's obviously super strong, but also it's not abrasive on your skin. Here's a look at the back. Just high, high quality gear overall, as is true for all um, high quality um, components, as is true for all Maxpedition. Uh, gear. So let me show you what we've got here. I've got a little D-ring on the top on this side, on that side as well. And then here's your grab handle up top. I just put a little, this is the Night Core, is this the Tiki? Yeah, this is the Tiki. So a little flashlight there. Not a lot else on the outside for this one. Everything else is inside. You can see a hook and loop panel there if you want to put um, patches. Like the uh, TT22 that I reviewed, there's multiple access points. So the most, the easiest way I find to use it, for me, how I have it set up, is just going in through these zippers there. But you can unclip this if you want. And then when you open this up, you've got a zipper that comes down like this, so you can have access to this, this way into the bag. And when you do open it up in there, you can see it's upside down right now, but it's the Prepared Citizen logo. That's what that looks like. So yeah, that's one access point to the, uh, to the bag you can get in that way. So this is the way I do it, just the normal kind of like zip down the side here, zip down this side, now I've got access into the bag. So let me show you what I have inside. The water bottle isn't filled, but I do have a Nalgene in there, and you do have, there is a mesh pocket on, let me just double check, is it both sides? Yeah, both sides, so you can put water bottles on the inside, on either side or both sides if you want. So that does keep it pretty low profile, you don't have a lot of things sticking out on the sides, which is good. Um, I've got, let's see, these four books, in the uh, in the bag and in the back I've got an iPad in an otter box this is a big beefy well-made box It's a great a great product but it makes it you know much larger than the actual iPad is and it still does fit in there when I slide it in I could fit all those other items in as well so down in the back you can see I do have a pocket here if I want to store something um, you could fit you could fit a smaller tablet in there or a tablet that doesn't have a big you know case around it or something like that and then the rest of the store is just kind of an open section inside the one other storage pocket we have is right here in the front so unzip this and in here i've just got a bunch of just random things i just tossed in to show you what it can carry but like wazoo survival bracelet i uh bench made driver set i've got an olight flashlight i've got this is the new mini tanaboka puka there it is from tops and then I've got a, uh, a bench made. This is the mini barrage. So that's all in this front little pocket there. So again, if you're using this as like an EDC bag, you can throw keys in there. You want to throw some pepper spray in there. You could do that while it's small things like that. So like I said, there's a bunch of different carrying options here. And part of the reason that's helpful is because on the back here, you do have a concealed carry compartment. So that's accessible on both the right hand side and the left hand side as well. Just as a point of reference, like here's my hand, large size gloves. This is what it looks like up against the back here. So you can't fit a massive pistol in there, but you could definitely fit something smaller. Um, so as far as your carry options, let me show you your backpack setup first. As for the backpack setup, I loosened the uh, straps up completely. So there's not a ton of padding on these, but because the bag is small and it's gonna be lightweight because you can't, unless you carry bricks, I don't know why you'd be, why you'd be carrying bricks, but because it's lightweight, you don't need a ton of padding on these guys. So this is the backpack setup. All right, setup number two is basically, this was running from the corner through this loop and down to the bottom. I unclipped it and I've put it on the side and now I can carry it like this. And again, back to your CCW, um, if you have it, so you're accessing it from the, if you're looking at the bag, this left side here, now I've got immediate access into the CCW compartment here. Obviously, if you wanna sling it the other way, on your other side, you can just switch these out.
So now it's on the other side. Obviously, you got to readjust your weapon, but now I have access to this side into the uh, CCW compartment. All right, so another setup is one clip on the top and then one clip on the corner, and then you can carry it like a sling bag. So like this, and then, you know, I can adjust this so it's as tight or as loose as I want it to be. And so here it is as a sling bag on my right shoulder going down to my left hip. That's probably pretty obvious to most people. If you want to go left shoulder to right hip, you're just gonna change the, uh, change where it's clipped here. So instead of it going from the middle down to this side, middle down to the other side. So just unclip this, put it on the other D-ring, and now it's set up for the other shoulder to carry it. So left shoulder to right hip. So you could also set it up from, instead of that center uh, D-ring, on one of the two side D-rings, which I'll show you right here real quickly. So instead of that center D-ring that's kind of in the center of my back, you got a D-ring here and then one on the other side. So it's really shoulder to hip now. One of the advantages of this setup is when you sling it to the front, it rests nice and horizontal like this. So I have access into this section or if I need to get into the main section of the bag, I can do that as well. So as you can see, lots of different ways to set it up. Um, the quality, uh, the build, the materials, everything's top notch as is true for all of Maxpedition's gear. Um, the challenge for some people is gonna be the price point. It's coming in at 93 bucks right now. Um, this to me is not one of those bags you're like, oh, I'll just pick one of those up unless you got tons of money because 93 bucks is not nothing. It's a decent amount of change right there. I can tell you though, if you wanna invest in a very compact EDC bag, this might be one that you wanna check out. You're not gonna carry a computer. You're not gonna carry tons of gear. But like I can tell you when my wife goes to like Boston or other you know, trips she's going out with friends to the city and stuff, she doesn't like carrying a purse just on one shoulder. She wants a backpack. She's gonna love this bag for things, uh, for things like that. And um, yeah, I mean, just good build, but it's not cheap to do that. So um, 93 bucks, again, multiple colors for the option, the TT12 here from Maxpedition. Let's hear your thoughts on the TT12 convert convertible backpack from Maxpedition, and we'll get that conversation started in the comment section down below. All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.